I bought this pair of shoes from Walmart for about $18. Let's customize them. Oh, it's so cold. It's 40 degrees outside. <sighs> Hey guys, it's Sarah coming back at you with a brand new video here on So Craftastic or Shoe Craftastic. In this video, I am going to do more of a tutorial on how to customize your very first pair of shoes. Or if you guys are pros already, I'm going to show you my splatter paint technique and how they turned out. So taping off the shoes, what paint I use. That wasn't supposed to rhyme and how i the paint also the unblurred version at the end of course also at the end i'm going to announce the giveaway winners for the crayola markers oh yeah without further ado let's spice up these under 20 dollars pair of walmart shoes here is the just under $20 pair of shoes in all their glory. Well, actually I wore them outside so they're not pure white anymore, but just ignore that. First comes the slightly tedious taping segment. So for this, I am using some blue scotch painters tape and I am going to be just taping off all the areas that I don't want any color to get on. So all the parts that I want to stay white. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can put the tape on and then tear it where it refuses to uh, get all the way up to the edge, or you can just tear the piece ahead of time and either one works. It's a little bit of trial and error, the first shoe that you tape off. And then by the second one, I promise you that you'll be a lot faster and you won't care as much actually, because I was trying to get this one as perfect as I possibly could. And by the second one, I'm just like, oh no, I am going to speed this up a little bit. And then if there are any areas where it does go over the trim, you can very carefully take an X-Acto knife, cut through just the layer of tape, not the shoe. And I did make sure that I folded this over to the bottom, but the bottom doesn't really matter. I just wanted to make sure that everything visible around the sides was going to be covered. Say hi to Leo, everyone. Now what I'm going to do is delace the shoe, unlace, I know I'm making up words here, but um, this is just so I can, you know, actually paint this part too without getting the laces painted. And I am going to tape off the inside of the shoe and that gray fabric part that kind of peeks out over the top. So here is that almost complete. Um, you can see I'm folding it down, not all the way in, so you don't want to cover everything. I'll show you what I do for that in a second. And here I'm just covering the logo and carefully cutting around that. They may not be Air Force Ones, but I still want to preserve that character of them, I guess. All right, moving on. This roll is almost gone, so I'm gonna switch over to this really beat up looking roll of masking tape. It's also by Scotch, not sponsored by Scotch, but I just happen to have these in my closet. I'm like, you know, I need to use them up, so let's put them to good use. And uh, here is the what happens sometimes when you buy $18 pairs of shoes from Walmart. Nothing I can't fix with a couple extra stitches, but I'll do that later. I do want to say that the masking tape is a lot better than the painter's tape. I mean, I expected that because painter's tape is supposed to be easily peelable off of a wall. It does stick to the shoe, but there are parts that after a few hours or less will start to peel up, so you really have to press those down. The hold of the yellowish tan masking tape is a lot stronger. It still will not ruin your shoe, so don't worry about that, but it just was staying down a lot better and for longer periods of time without peeling up in certain places and forming gaps. And move on to protecting the inside of the shoe. Not the most important, but I just used one piece of tissue paper per shoe and I stuffed that in there and now they are good to go. I am about to head into the garage and create a workstation with some cardboard boxes. Broken down so the corrugated lays flat and this is just so I don't get paint all over my carpet because that would not be good. I'm about to be using some acrylic leather paint by the brand Angelus and I got this from Amazon. I can put a link in the description box below of all the supplies that I use if you want to purchase any and use 
the same ones that I do. This comes in a lot of colors. Again, not sponsored. I bought everything for this video with my own money, but you know, if any of these brands happen to watch and want to sponsor me in the future, hint, hint, wink, wink, that'd be great. Paint brushes, I recommend any kind with kind of a long, thin, bristle area so these are the ones that i chose but i only actually ended up using the larger one um, with the paint i am going to just pour it into a separate container and i'm mixing colors so i'm making kind of a magenta and watering that down a little bit so it will splatter better this part is pretty self-explanatory but there are different splatter methods you can do i am still trying to master them but for this you can see that i am taking the brush dipping it into the paint saturating that as much as i can and then i'm just taking my finger and flicking the bristles i was trying to experiment with different types of flicks and just kind of waving the paintbrush like a wand and dripping it on also. Well, I didn't film a lot of the pink splatters, but we are now moving on to this turquoise. I added a little bit of white to the actual tealish color and I am going to do the same exact thing, but here you can see a little bit more up close. If any of you couldn't tell from the previous clips, these are the most basic flicks that I used with the brush. Also, you can fake splatters if there are any areas where you want more color, but you don't want to do the actual technique. You just kind of dab it on like that and doop. <laughs> what was that? Boop, doop, boop. Splatter paint is very abstract, so keep in mind the shoes are not going to look at all alike. They're going to look similar like sisters, like brothers, but not exact twins. So don't expect to get them exactly the same. You can of course try to get a similar amount of color and splatter on certain areas by working back and forth with the shoes and just kind of flip-flopping between, but I just didn't spend a ton of time trying to get them exact because I knew that was not possible. Also, I chose not to wear gloves. I just wanted to kind of be one with the artwork, I guess. I don't know, it felt cool, but it does make your hands messy, obviously. Not a big deal because it washes off very easily, which I am showing you here. Um, just so you guys know, like it's not a permanent paint, but it does not work well with nail polish. Before the satisfying on taping and big reveal, I want to announce the giveaway winner of these permanent markers here. Your name is on the screen. Congratulations and thank you to everyone who entered. Also, I do have the Hydro Flask giveaway going on still, so check that out if you haven't yet. I'll put a link in the description and the iCard. Now let's remove the tape. This part is very satisfying. I just wanna let you guys listen to it a little bit. Gotta interrupt this to point out the obvious that I didn't do a perfect taping job because some of the paint seeped through underneath and you know it ended up like this but I decided to take this sanding block. I got this from Dollar Tree but you can just use regular sandpaper. This did a pretty good job at removing the mistake. There's a little bit of uh, residue left of the color but I wiped that away with a damp paper and it's almost good as new. Then I got to work on removing tape from the other pair. This one worked a lot better. And here you have some close-ups of the detail on the shoes. Oh, I can't forget though. We gotta do the logo reveal. Oh my gosh. 
so silver, so shiny. Avia, who is she? Another step which is important but I did not show on camera and honestly I didn't do it yet is to put an acrylic finisher on top and this will seal in the paint and keep it nice and wearable basically. Fun news, I actually bought an airbrush. So in one of my upcoming shoe customization videos, I want to do a tutorial for that and show you guys how I design with spraying paint, which should be a lot of fun. In the comments section below, let me know what I should customize next. Also be sure that you have post notifications on and that you're subscribed because in the next customization video, I'm going to be introducing a new giveaway. You guys don't wanna miss that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And also I'll link my entire shoe decorating playlist, customization playlist in the description box below, as well as in the iCard up in the corner. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. La 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 la, my battery is dying. I'm shedding too. All the things. <laughs> we are walking.